Mr. Cash, Cash, I want to tell you. I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you a we got, story. We got, we got the race of two women. Which one are we going to listen to uh, first? Let me, can I finish, please? Yes. yes. Okay. Can I, uh, if I tell you a story, but this is a story, maybe I can, uh, you can tell me if I understood. Because I want to know if, um, this is a story. You see, when I was in my 30s, I was always depressed and I would cry. And I would uh, blame it on my ex-husband. That is his fault. And oh, you are the victim, you mean? I don't know what will happen, but anyway, I went to a doctor in NYU, and he was the head of the uh, psychiatry department at NYU University, and he gave me these pills, which was antidepressant. I came home, I took them one night, and then the next day I was like vegetables. I was uh, sleeping all the time. So I took the whole package of pill, uh, put it down the toilet, and I said, look, I can't become a vegetable. I have to find out what's the root of what is what I feel. So... And I keep going until, you know, one day just, I just uh, I left my ex-husband. Actually, this thing was going on when I was, even when I was married, because I got married when I was 17. I didn't even know myself. But this thing was keep coming up. And the time I left, for the first month when I left, I was so scared, like as if you put me on a place on the top of a mountain and you want, everything around me was empty. I was so scared even of everything because I never lived by myself. But anyway, by going through life, even as hard as it was, but then I felt this comfort start to coming about. And then suddenly I realized my feelings wasn't about anybody else. It was coming from inside me. It was nobody's fault. And then what I'm trying to say, the other scenario would be if I had taken those pills and I keep going on and take more pills and I stayed in a marriage and keep doing the same thing, Actually, I think I hijacked my soul, and I didn't feel my soul what it needed to feel. And I think uh, this is uh, my understanding now. Now, what the what you feel, it means your soul is trying to tell you that you need to take another direction, or you have to feed me something that satisfies me. Am I correct? I tell you what. In what level I speak. This comes to a lot of us, it's not just you. This comes to us mainly when we is involved with the affairs of the heart, we says we want to give but we have no one to give to, or we don't receive what we think because we want to give but there is no recipient. The what what we get to the point is at every point of our lives. We, doesn't matter in which way or form, we would like to be giver because we would like to feel we are generous. When you go through these states of what we call depression, it means I cannot receive what I'm expecting to. And it goes back to the part of the brain of feeling sorry or depressed. If you can raise the level of the energy of the soul, then you find out, is the expectation which needs to be adjusted and nothing else. We see this in many cases, majority of the cases, depression is an expectation level. I expected to receive, I have not received, so I'm sad about it. And you build it and you build it. Or you think, I have given a lot but I have not received much. Or what have I given so much for nothing? These are all different terminology for what you call depression, but I call it expectation. And then what it means, if you raise the level of your strength of your soul, which means strengthen it in a way of what is short of, you'll find out what am I looking for, what I, what I was worried about. I have, I receive. I don't need. I was explaining to Arman yesterday, something very uh, interesting. There is a song, and when I listen to it, every time I listen to it, it brings back horrible memories for me. And, it's short of the story is, a woman, managed to put, or by her actions, or by whatever, but it wasn't her fault, she was put in that circumstances because of whatever in the background, the husband being ill. 
she more or less allowed herself to satisfy her depression, to satisfy that I'm, there's nothing wrong with me, caused the death of the husband in a very, very strange way. I, I watched it all the way through. And then, it has raised a lot of questions for me over years, since I've been a witness to this situation. That is, why do we do this? Why do we expect to have, and we see it as our right to have, we get depressed because we can't get it, and then with it we allow somebody we love, or we love, whatever, to suffer with it. That satisfies us, I got what I want, it was your fault what I received. Expectation is one of the main cornerstones of the problem of humanity. We always expect to have, and if you look at all the elections, every single election we have seen in past decades has run, is run on the failure of giving the ex emotion of the failure and expectation of what we wanted and what we're going to get this time. No election, I watched for years, has been done on a positive progress that we as a nation will change it. It goes the same with individuals. When we put an expectation and then we don't receive it, we call it anything we like. And then we go to depression and we want to somebody to sort it for us. Doesn't work that way. Now with what we understand, you don't need a lover to raise. You can raise your own, the level of your own soul, and then judge yourself, was my expectation correct? And then you sit in the right way to judge about yourself and nobody else. Then we become a better man for it. You want to take pills, whatever. I've seen people taking 20 pills a day and they're more depressed than they went to the doctor. It doesn't solve the problem. Because most of the medical materials used handles everything except the emotion of the man through the soul of the man. The cans and these things which you you use, it's the first time you don't go through level of matter exchange, you go through level of the field exchange, in the level of the soul of the man. We got to understand what is our expectation and we blame everybody else for it. And if is our expectation, what are we doing about it, to see what is our part in not fulfilling our own expectation? All they do, when they give you these medicines, they just literally put your neurosystem to sleep, till somewhere you gather the right strength and you can think, or you might walk out of it. That's all it is, that's why you put you in the cabbage. I've been in this, uh, conditions of how they make cabbages out of people. You walk in the hospitals where they hold the schizophrenic, where they hold mental institutes, what do they do? Nothing. They literally numb the body. They put you in a state of uh, nothingness. Physically you cannot carry. And then so, you're there. The brain does not matter whatever it does, you're controlled. Because the body is not there to move but they don't sort the problem, they don't sort out the depression. I can blame myself, I can blame my next door neighbor, I can blame the dog, the brickwork, everything else. But, if I don't raise the level of my own expectation, understanding how, what is wrong, where it is, and how I can raise my soul, there is nothing you can do. Dr. Rodrigo speaks about dynamic reactors. These dynamic reactors, with this zinc oxide in it, 99% the cancer will go very fast, because in that process, the expectation of the emotion 
is satisfied, because the strength of the fields which are creating is near enough to what is needed to fulfill an expectation. Then there is no expectation, there is no, no unbalances, because then there is no unbalances, the part of the brain which controls the whole lot to do with the cancer is not there, so you find the cancer going. Don't look that I repair the cancer, you have to look how psychologically you change the level of the emotion and through it the soul of the man. You feed the soul so much that it's fully satisfied, so it creates balance. When you create a balance, anything which is unbalanced, which is a cancer cell will disappear. Diabetic the same, other things the same. Yesterday, in my response to the uh, Ghanaian uh, Minister of Health, uh, Minister of Science and Technology, uh, the, 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 to the Professor, I, I explained very simply with the water, how the fields of the uh, zinc oxide uh, or CO2 create uh, alkalineness, to what is things, to what level. Because now you feel, you deal with the field matter, and that field matter transfers itself to the brain or whatever the cell which is needed. With this, we never considered, we always considered everything to be physical. There is something wrong in my physical, so I do, I make a chemical to be there. It's the first time where we feed the soul. It's the first time we have energy at the level of the emotion of the man, which touches the soul of the man. It feeds, saturates, but to a level, but body has to be there to receive it, that he can change it. This is a dual system. Emotion and the body of the man, fed together. And at the same time, when you speak with the body of the man, every cell has a soul. So you feel in every single soul, every single piece, every single cell of the body of man, when it's emotion. The game has changed, in the species, there is no painkillers. I had a, a, a very strange case, we... The illness has come through emotion, but created its own physicality. And now we are fitting the physicality, but the minute we increase the level of zinc oxide, the body stops does not want even to breathe. Which is very strange. You think if I increase the level of the soul, the level of the emotion, I reach faster improvement in the structure of the physicality. But in fact, you can literally zero zinc oxide and the person recovers very, very fast from their own dilemma. They do it themselves. Because they understand and um, in so many ways, the, the disease is so uh, deep, physically rooted, that you have to change the physicality before you can go for the soul or we go for the emotion. Every time. We go up to 20% zinc oxide, the breathing system stops, all the complications stops. The wife says, Everything is stopped. They are doing it. They made everything. They are controlling it. Just I just monitor because I mean I, it's very for me interesting. The minute we increase in oxide, all the breathing problem starts. Means I don't want to repair my emotion. I want to carry that emotion. To me, carrying such emotion gives me confirmation to exist. In a way, I abuse myself. If you understand correctly. 